growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. Now, welcome back to another episode of that podcast. You know how we do it, man. We bring you the best, you know what I'm saying, in the motherfucking city. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get neat and gritty, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know how to bring them in, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, Mr. Slap your ass with a four way adapter, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? That part, that part of my life is over. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, man, I got no other. You know what I'm saying, dude? You know what I'm saying? Wipe the flow, man. Motherfucking Gator, man. You know what I'm saying? OG do, in the building. What it do, my peoples? What it do? What it yeah, do, what it do, man. man. Thank you, man, for blessing the Say, flow. Man, like, for real. Your platform man, is nice, man. That's man, that's solid, man. Appreciate it, man. Like, if this platform is for the ones who left stains on people's brains. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And you sure. definitely left stains on everybody's brain. You know what I'm saying? Say, that's real, man. I'm gonna and mess with that. You man, you got you got you got kids you done raised out here and some more things. You don't even know yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you may know it, you know what I'm saying? And this platform is to give you your flowers, you know what I'm saying? Say, that's what's up, bro. And you like we wanna say we love you, not for the people yeah, like yeah. you you know, I know how it is in the streets. It ain't no love in the streets. You know what I'm saying? But it is love out there, you know what I'm saying? That 1%, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. we're part of that 1%, for sure. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. So, for the people out there that don't know, tell them who you are and where you from. Well, the Gator Man, <clears throat> Highland Hills, Texas, you know, Oak Cliff. You know, Mama moved us all around, but uh, mainly like my grand people all that out the out the hills. So, yeah, the hills. Yeah, yeah. You know, fuck this music shit. Street tough, stuff. tough. Yeah. So, Gator, who is Gator? I don't know, it's just a real complex. <laughs> you need like 40 podcasts to kind of do that shit, bro. It's just, it's just such a complex uh, question, you know. Just, right. As much as I'm, you know, kind of, um, um, kind of just like as much as my music is like real kind of in your face, real kind of strong, is as much as I'm still a private person and humble. And right. Niggas just got zero tolerance for the bullshit, man. Right, in these right. streets, we done seen all that bullshit. Right. So. You know, I, I done got a bad rip on kind of being a bad guy sometimes. And sometimes I was dead in the wrong. But a lot of them times, <laughs> niggas were just being hard at niggas. So. Right. Yeah, you gotta you protect your got territory. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's part of being yeah, a gator. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, in this swamp. Nigga might get bite bit rather yeah, than yeah, yeah, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. where the name Gator Man come from? Man, at the time, I just didn't know no niggas named Gator. You know what I'm saying? And just had to kind of put a southern flair behind it. So, you know, I was just like Gator. I was playing around with it, and Gator Man kind of stuck. You know, but now, you know, then once again, Gucci came through and did the donkey, so people look at me, oh, man, they trying to be like Gucci. Like, yeah, like, nah, you been, man. Nah, you know, I was a little bit for that boy, yeah. but I'll shout out to Gucci, I respect his music. 100, 100, 100, 100, you know what I'm saying? So, when it was the first time, man, you... No, first of all, what, what did you grow up listening to in Dallas that really inspired you? Man, I'm, 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 I'm older, so, like, uh... I've been around since, like, you know, hip-hop, you know, kind of been around. So right. I've uh, experienced uh, the East Coast. I've experienced the West Coast era, the down right. South era. So a little bit of it all. Like, East Coast was the first one, so that kind of lyrical shit. Right. But I know, you know what I'm saying, they can't talk about Tim's and that shit, so you got to talk about the Southern lingo. Yeah, with that we ain't got shit. no Tim's out here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, it's just bits and pieces of it all, in words, kind of got a nigga more real, uh, well-rounded on their mic. Right, know? right. So who was you listening to in Dallas? Uh, man, shit, growing up, like, uh, the main niggas who really, really kind of just put it out on the city is shit, Doc and Snake and Nemesis and Al and... Uh, Casanova and you know when U Shay was doing this thing Casanova. and Rock, so yeah. they are the original holders, right. gatekeepers of this music shit. Oh, they gatekeepers. So they, how can you not say okay. uh, Nemesis and Ron C yeah. and Dog and them? Come on, bro. Yeah. Wasn't nobody doing it for it was no hip hop before they, them. Day, you ain't like, so that's why like, Drake. Yeah. Snake. You know, so, uh, but uh, like what people don't realize is uh, the Boogie era done always kind of got a bad rip. Why? Because, come on, bro, it's dancing. Them niggas dancing better than them hoes in the club, bro. Like, it was just, it was that. But 
We got to be so, so fucking grateful for them, bro. They did not like, ain't nobody else put a spotlight on the city like them niggas, bro. You like, my, they went on to affect Atlanta and then the rest of the whole fucking country they with did. their movement. They so did. we grateful for that. But, uh, niggas, you know, stiff nigga like us, we gave them a hard time, baby. Oh, look. <laughs> Well, nigga, we did all that. We gave him absolutely Don't let the tan shit fool you. Yeah, we did all that. But really, but really, like, sitting back looking at it like a nigga was uh, grateful for him because they put a spotlight on the city. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, but it was dancing back then before that. But, but yeah, that, and that's where I was we getting that. Nigga, play. Niggas up. But niggas was, Dallas kind of just been on it, you know. Raw shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They've they been on the dancing shit, too. Yeah, like, yeah. You know? So. You know, I used to see nigga, I remember we used to go to the club, you remember when nigga used to roll and shit? It, yeah. I was like, okay, all right, it's something different now. <laughs> <laughs> we, shared, uh, we shared the bass era with them. Yeah. Like early Dallas, a lot right. of hip hop niggas back then, Run C all them, was speaker niggas. So, like, that bass movement was heavy on the West Coast and uh, Dallas and in uh, Miami. Right. So, Magic Mike and Nemesis yeah. members to kind of rock with each other and right. do shows back and forth. So. And then, then, like, that uh, bass era transferred over to that 95 South and mm. dancing kind of. Right, yeah, yeah, So, yeah, like, yeah. it's Six always been, like, that's knowledge. always been Dallas. So, you yeah. can't, you know, still niggas want to know. Hell no, Dallas is this, but, <laughs> but then, you know, you got that other side of the spectrum on that gangster shit. But we, I, I think. That other side of that spectrum on that gangster shit is Dallas, too. You know, yeah. and, that's, and that's us. Yeah. And, like, that's Twisted. And yeah. That's me. And, yeah. You know, Twisted man, say that yeah, that boy right there, that boy raw and leg, bow leg man, golly man, shout out bow leg two times, oh, yeah, 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 two times, yeah. yeah, 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 time. yeah. yeah. So, yeah, all right, so on your journey, you know what I'm saying? What really made you pick up a pad? Um, I was just a fan of it, man. Well, like you know, the from the first moment I tried it, the nigga, you know, I felt like I was good at it. Then I got with my niggas, um. Kind of, you know, my early high school at, uh, at at Hutch, and you know, kind of start paying for studio time, and you know, kind of just stayed at it, bro. It's never been a time since way back then that I haven't been a student of the music, or that I haven't been uh, writing, or that I haven't been recording, bro. Since right. way back then, like other niggas was D boy niggas that rapped, uh, construction workers that rapped. Now, right. I was a rap nigga that did that. I was a, I was always been a rap nigga first. Right, right, So right. I've always been like, new styles, new cadences, new everything. Nigga gonna try to implement that in his everyday shit. So that's what keep a nigga current relevant, you know. Niggas who got stubborn on some, oh, no, no, fuck all that. Got your ass left behind. Right, right, and right. Nigga been, you know, fortunate enough to still have some long, some nice longevity. You know? Right. You, 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 you have longevity. Mm -hmm. So what was your first, okay, like when you first started rapping and you got on that mic, how did you know, like, oh, yeah, this, this is, oh, this, this, this song right here, this is it. Like, oh, homie, come check this out. What you think? You know? Um, I really didn't know, you know what I'm saying? It kind of took some feedback. Like we, um, off that first project was the Worldwide, my original first project. And we were pushing 20 inch dates, you know, that was just, it just locked up and was just a bang, it was different. So we were pushing that. But then uh, the very last song we put on the project was uh, Kiss My Ass, Kiss the my Walk ass. the Block. So it was me and Ice Finger really sitting around kind of making a mockery of Houston and I don't put, you know, they were yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, they yeah. put, you know, say candy on an elevator, you know, like right, that, that's right. like all different kind of crazy shit. So we were saying, like, just saying that shit and it stuck and just like, damn, bro, we sitting there playing and then I really done locked yeah, up. Then I did, then that was probably the first and last beat I did. I probably did a few more beats after that, but a nigga should have kept doing tracks, that's where the money was. Yeah, I remember you talking about you doing, mm -hmm. you did the tracks. Well, yeah, you know, you should have kept going. Yeah. Because, you know, that that, that right but, there. But once again, I'm a student of uh, hip-hop. You know, right. Like the production part. Like, really, I'm a rap nigga. Right. To, like, to the core, bro. Right. Um, yeah, it shows. It shows. It shows. So, that, 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 kiss my ass. That right there, you can't go nowhere. Unfortunately. You, you can't go nowhere. Unfortunately. But with the, what, what's so crazy, you have a list of nonstop hits. It's some uh, it's some good songs, man. Ain't gonna call them hits, you know. Like to to, to standard, nah, that's your gold, platinum, all that. That's it. But nigga got some underground bitches. Nigga Fuck that bitches. shit. You know what I'm saying? Got some underground <laughs> hits. Fuck that. That play crazy. 
God damn me. Fuck that. Facts of life. Even before all that came out. Facts of life. Yeah. Yeah, facts of life. Um, like, um, demigod. Godly. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, say, with the song you, uh, what's that, Alone? With, uh, uh Ro. Ro? Bro, you know like, I, I swore, bro, about three or four people to mention that one song. Like, bro, nah, like, I was at, um, I was at Lil Earl and Tay Money video shoot. Yeah. She uh Tay Money getting on that remix of a song Lil Earl got this popping. So it was a uh, uh, my partner had uh, brought some cars out there, and the nigga that he brought with him was like, bro, you nigga, my favorite song is that Alone a Zero. Like, and then I was somewhere else in DeSoto, and a chick came up to me, super close. I can't do this alone. Like. Yeah, bro, niggas was rocking with that hoe, you know? Man, you got some say, man. With you got some stuff that really speak to the soul. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I like how, like, how you how you remain gator, but you elevate. That's what's fascinating, you know what I'm saying? You know yeah. how some person, yeah. you know how some person can have the same sound, and then you just be like, no. But, you know, but, 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 but it goes back to being a student and listening and, and not turning on like I and then with me, I listen to all different kind of music, bro, uh, folk, uh, country, like everyday right. classical jazz. Like I listen to all different uh, music. So in some kind of way, I, I, I always like, how can I make that a rap song? How can right, I, right. what can I do? Or, and then um, like as far as I read and kind of right. like, and if, if a word is, Different or something like that, or it sound like it could be a sweet rhyme or word. I'll look it up, like you know what I'm saying. Right, so right. in that aspect, hip hop been sharpening the nigga vocab mm -hmm. up, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't nigga say I do this shit without a dictionary or arm or that. Yeah, this is how I say, man. Well, I get I get online on that word hip hop and go and just play steal a word every now and then. I can't even lie. I was like, a little bit. What is it? okay when you in the studio, man? Like for real, for real. When you in the studio, what in the fuck be going through your mind? Really, it's uh, it's went went through my mind before I even got to the yo, cause like before I even hit the yo, I I don't really go to the yo and then sit there and write. Right, like, that's a waste of time. Right, okay. You got all day at the half thing, so when I go in the yo, I'm just trying to pay for them two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just sit there. <laughs> so, it was like you yeah, get that shit done. Yeah. But um, it's just it's really the beat, like the beats talk to me, bro. Like it right. gotta be. I like different beat. Like if a beat is damn near sounding offbeat, damn near sounding strange, damn near sounding like weird samples played backward shit. Like I really kind of like when niggas really go that extra and right. like, make that whole different because it challenges me to catch that whole differently. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. It bring out that mo that tissue, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And see what your ability is really about. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like okay, so. Have you, have you, like, do you ever get writer's block? Do you ever? Yeah, hell yeah, I do. I yeah. hate it. I do. And, it, and it'll last for some, it'll last for some months sometimes. Like, it ain't never lasted in, like, over no six months or no shit, but it'll last two, three months. Especially when they got some other family shit going on, or got some right, right. personal shit going right. on, then, you know, it really affect me, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So, like, what is, what is, like, what what Gator like to chill out and listen to? What he what, what, what Gator what, what what chill out Gator? You know what I'm saying? What relaxes Gator? Uh, once again, man, I'm a, I'm OG, so yeah, I already know, man. That old school eyes lit, all that old kind of shit. But um, <clears throat> I've been up in gym in this group called Alabama Shakes, so they go hard and uh, Nancy Wilson down there, old Otis Redding, like just like whole bunch of their like. You know, like, you know, if whatever kind of mood I'm in, mm -hmm. then I kind of go to that. Yeah, I see you got to Man, it's so, it's so much fucking music out in the world, bro. You got to be absolutely crazy to just close your mind to just trap or just... Right. You got to be crazy, right. bro. It's a, man, it's a tunnel vision. It's some <laughs> crazy music out. Yeah, it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's like right now, that's what I'm going through the process of, of spawning even new music that I ain't even heard of. You know what I'm saying? Just adding a new flavor to my... To my sample catalog, you know what I'm saying? It's just some strange shit, you know, on orthodox shit. And I see like people like you who are wordsmith, they like that unorthodox stuff, you know what I'm saying? And if you if you ain't really challenging yourself to make that shit better or different or grow in in life with everything, not right. even just music, fuck you doing for? You just going through the motion, right? Or getting a, you know, so getting a wild hair and every now and then just. 
I ain't never did that. I quit. I ain't right. doing no more. I'm doing it again. I ain't doing no more. I'm doing it again. Nah, I don't right. know. Nah, that's what I do. Man, I done had Lil D's to come on here. Lil D's and sit right there. Smoke some of this. Shout out Lil D's. Lil D's. Shout out D's, man. Shout man, out D's. Man, Lil D's say, man, man, when I'm in the studio, I don't know what the hell Gator gonna say next. <laughs> 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 You know what, bro? And, and like, and, and like, I get that from engineers, cause like, I damn near be piecing it together, kind of weird, or I damn near be trying to like try different shit to where I can imagine uh, to somebody else, it's probably be like, well, what the fuck is this nigga? Like, it seems like it always end up to where halfway through the song, then it just that next take, then it be like, yeah. oh shit, that's oh okay, like, right. but the process leading up, that's why I really. I don't like recording with a whole bunch of people in there. Right. Like, and that's why I record early. Like, right. late normally when niggas hanging out, fuck with the yo, bro, I'll be trying to get that out. Bright and early, because I'm right. obsessed over the song all night. Right. I'm right. itching to get that out. And then, nigga, vocal chords, everything kind of just fresh and right. around and shit. So, a nigga be trying to get that out early. So, like, what, what is one of, you know what I'm saying, some of your work that you ain't really just was proud of not putting out? Uh, of not putting out? Yeah. Man, I don't I don't man, I was I was kinda on the road one time, bro, with this little bitch, we going all around. And man, I left a fucking project in a fucking hotel room, a folder in a project that you know like it might not have been about shit, but to me, that was the best motherfucking shit ever, bro. And I called back to there, I man, I turned around and went back and they like must have threw it out in the trash. Oh, bro. It was some shit on that hoe, bro. So that was probably like the most the one that hurt. Or like, and then everybody done had uh, hard drives crash. Right, so, right, you know, right. That shit, oh, like, oh, nigga, man. don't back up a bell, sweet ass song. Ooh. You ain't gonna never re hit that hoe like you hit. No, that. no, that it's that ever. one. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with them beats, man. You know how many beats up, boy, say. Man, I know that feeling. So, how many projects you really think you have, man? Because you got a catalog. Because you got songs here and there, man. You don't got, man, like, you don't work with Bun. Yeah. Pimp. R.I.P. Pimp. Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about what it's like working with Pimp. I got to ask you. And then you got that, yeah, Pimp and E-40. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got, see, you don't even know. You got classic tracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, that, that, that 90s. You know how I many, I still people, I, I pull up to work sometimes, people still, 90s, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, for real, like, shit, nigga, I got money since the 90s, you know what I'm saying? So what is, how many projects, what do you um, think you got? Probably about eight, nine, if you, and then if you uh, include the compilation project, you know, like the Texas album. Right, and, right, right. The Gator Man Presents the Ball Players, probably, the Children of the Corn, probably 13, 14, probably projects. Children of the Corn. Solo know. projects probably just about seven, eight. Seven, eight. I know it's worldwide. It's uh, live uh, with Judy. It's live from Judy's. Is uh, when all hell broke loose. Oh, hell broke the uh, D Boy Diary. The D Boy Diary. Key to the city. Play crazy. Play crazy. I and think the, that's and, and now you got uh, uh sip drink music. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, sip drink music. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You know. So yeah, seven, probably like seven, eight. So next, so okay, all right. And you got, and then I like how you got your cat. Cause I, like when you look on your Instagram, you got more albums too. So yeah. You got the covers already ready yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, albums that we never released, but the music. But the, is there? So you you plan on releasing those? It was just a different time. I don't know. Probably not. You probably know not. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. I already, I already. But I see you released that Key to the City though. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You had to release that one. What was that? What, okay. What was like making the key to the city? Man, I had fun with that, man. Shout out to Jerron the Secret, man. Me and my partner, Jerron the Secret, we uh, worked on that project. And I had a studio at uh, at um, uh, Kessler Park Music Box. Uh -huh. there. So it was cool, man. That vibe was cool while we was working on that. Because, man, like around that time, I mean, young niggas was through that whole work. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Shout out Bizarre, Bizarre Beasy here over there, man. Like, Young niggas was through that whole working, so it was uh it was cool. It was right, cool right. that project. It was a good project. Yeah, man, what, what, what's, what's I really like it's uh, uh I think it's at like six, seven thousand streams, which ain't much but with no promotion. Man, I just yeah, I know tracks don't be no promotion yeah. with this and it just go. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It just go and that's what I wanted to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Like you like you say, you very personal, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And it really shows like what you know what I'm saying, why is it so, you know what I'm saying, uh, how can I put it, like 
when we know Gator, when Gator drop yeah. a project, yeah. it's like it's, it's, people it's, we know. It's like damn, it's like we automatically know. Like okay, Gator yeah. drop a project, yeah. but you don't put no promotion in or nothing like that. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. It's uh really it's classic. You know, nigga uh, in the past didn't get out of his own way. You know what I'm right, saying? And, right. then, and uh in that older shit, critiquing it way too hard right. and just kind of you know discour being discouraged on. Like I say, bro, to truly put out a project back then was two, three hundred. Like to really get around and put out a project before like the social media yeah. age was like expensive. And then like you know when a nigga was trying it out and dropping projects early on, when they, when they weren't doing numbers, but this motherfucking trap doing numbers, nigga on back burner the shit out their music shit and go with what's paying them like yeah. on some feed the fam right, shit. Right. So. In that aspect, the nigga kind of was sometime in. Right. But in the aspect of even through them down times, I still never stopped doing music. So the process, through the process, you dropping all these albums, who, who's been backing you, or who's been managing you, or who's been like putting it's, you? In, it's, it's, you know, I have, you know I got people in my corner that, that right. you know what I'm saying they kind of work behind the scenes. They're not those people, but they're right. still knowledgeable about you know what I'm saying right. and doing those certain things. Right. So in the past, it's just you know like bro like. I was never able to successfully separate my street shit from uh, my music shit. Right. So right. I, it was a lot of street niggas damn near that was helping me do the work. So right. Right. you know how they go, bro. Yeah. Like a whole bunch of niggas not knowing what they right. doing. You right. know, we were still making noise. Yeah, but we got the money though, nigga. Where <laughs> yeah. you wanna go hurt? <laughs> It was real shiny and doing our thing in the streets, but that shit wasn't uh, making a piece of sense. We were like so, up the DGs all night. So how were you getting these tracks with Pimp C? You uh, know what I'm saying? What it was it like working but, with Pimp C and, and you know the the other cats yeah. outside of town? Well, man, uh, uh, <coughs> I, I, you know we I don't know. I always had that relationship with uh, rap a lot, and uh, it was around the time uh, uh, they were uh, Pimp had just passed, and they were uh, you know kind of gathering up music for that. Uh, the Naked Soul of Sweet James Jones. So, um, you know, uh, Big E was fucking with him already because they was uh, he was uh, working some shit with Damn D and Big E had just did that Dougie B. So he kind of, and uh, Red was, International Red was managing him. Okay. So it was kind of, you know, through Big E and, you know, them niggas, you know, had heard of me here and there and, you know, and they liked, um, they liked the verse from the since the night. And so, well, you know, Put them on this. So put them on that. I was Jay Prince directly saying, put them on this, put them on that, put them on that. So I'm grateful for that. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for Jay. I don't been able to sit down and have some. Cause I always, real, I real always heard you. I always say, you know, you know. Yeah, I yeah, always yeah, know yeah, you had that rap line Philly. You, yeah, yeah right, right, right. Jay. Already. So like, what was it like getting introduced to Jay? Well, he. Man, uh, you know, we went down there and uh, you know had a, you know, he requested a meeting, wanted to sit down and. You know, niggas and shit nervous, but that's a real nigga, you know. Right, so right. We sat down, man, and just really chopped it up, man. It was, it was, it was about music. It was about life. It was about everything. Right, right. So it was, uh, it was, it was, it was super humbling. Well, like, what kind of direction, did Jay Prince give give Gator Man? Uh, I mean, it was it wasn't too much a direction. It was right. like through his stories and through his talks about his struggles right, and. Right. Uh, you know, kind of coming early up, you know, trying to do his thing. And it was just, you know, right. getting game from him. Right. You know? So, yeah, so, have you ever dropped a project through Rap A Lot or anything? No, or you no, just, not a whole but project. But you Rap A Lot of though. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a Texas thing right there. Yeah, that's a Texas thing right there. Yeah, that's a Texas thing right there. Yeah, that's a Texas thing right there. Nah, that's, that. that's what's up. So, But now, like, it's more, um, you know, with Beto. Like, you know, kind okay. of, you know, Beto was, uh, you know, he was he was everything the pimp. You know, he was his right hand man. He was his protege. So, you know, Beto doing his thing. So he right. uh, he got a check on the album and kind of doing our thing with that. Okay, okay, okay. And so with this album right here, you putting any features on it? Uh, bro, this is my first project with absolutely no features, bro. Okay. And it's crazy, but that oh, like it challenged me to keep. Like, I damn near have a different style on each verse of the song, let alone right. each song. So right. it uh it really challenged me to really kind of play with reverbs and right. to where right. it's crazy, right. bro. Right. Like a lot of some of the modes it'll sound like two, three people and then okay. Crazy. okay, so now you oh you stepping it up in last now you get to play now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And you know what it is, bro, like the business of music will frustrate the shit out of you. You right. know what I'm saying? To where like it take away from your creativity. Right. To where I ain't really like, you know, you got, you like I said, you got your life shit, but 
music wise, I ain't really in no place to where I'm feeling no kind of way. So it's like got me at a with a comfortability to where they flowing out, bro, and they flowing differently. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right. you know, sitting, I want to sit and let you hear a few of them. Like, okay, you know what I'm yeah, but that's big. I like, I gotta hear these, man. Yeah, for, so uh, it's, it's just it's it's different right now, man. And, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the future holds. You know what I'm right. saying? They don't know what he's gonna be. So doing. I couldn't even ask you what you got store for the next five years or nothing. Uh, <laughs> shit. Bottom line, get some goddamn money. What? Get some goddamn money. Get some goddamn money. Some goddamn <laughs> money. <laughs> That's my name. Paper still. <laughs> first and business. foremost. Man, you still look to fix the cars? Yeah, I be still fucking with the car, but it ain't um, it's not really on a um, buying them, selling them aspect. It's just my personal. Right. Well, what you working on? What you got a Chevelle or something? Uh, nah, I sold my Chevelle and what? I beat myself up for selling that hoe, bro. So when I was living in Cedar Hill, I sold that hoe, bro. And now, like, I've been seeing shells go for like thirty. You know what I'm saying? Back then it was probably what, about six, seven years ago I saw my Chevelle. But I think I saw it. Like eight, eight to ten, some yeah, shit like that. Yeah. Man, I beat myself up about that, man. I beat myself up. So what you got now that you put you working on? I got a uh, a sixty five Wildcat. It's called a Buick Wildcat. I got okay. a sixty five Wildcat. I got a uh, a eighty three Hurstoles Cutlass, uh, and then I got a uh, one of the Minister Society Mustangs. So. Nigga put no, but like a nigga ain't pulled out nothing because I'm working on all three of them others at the same time. Right. Them cars be some bitch ain't yeah. money, bitch. Man, they do, They man. worse than a bitch. Ooh, still cool, we, boy. I'm telling you, it ain't a break. Burn them pockets, yeah. though, man. But once you get it right, though, you know. Yeah, it, yeah, for real. You yeah. got something that's worth something. You know? So, like, okay, so who have you worked with? Uh, as far as... And, through your journey, like who you work with that you really like, like, oh man, I'm, I'm proud of this feature, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like my work uh, uh, with Seven Shots, uh, especially that All We See. Okay. That okay. sound like was a song that kind of, uh, Seven Shots was fun to work with, uh, J Rock Obama was fun to work with. Well, all of them really, bro, uh, A1 and Coin Fox right, at the time, right, right. like, you know, like, all of them were, uh, you know, they kind of approached the music differently and challenged the nigga differently. You know, me still kind of being OG. Right. So, you know, they, you know, I, like everybody I done fucked with, especially in the city, done made a nigga step his game up. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Mean, like, so I'm talking about, like, like far as, like, like the them, 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 them big features, like E-40. Like, you got E-40. I mean, you got... A, a, a lot of those big records, it's never... Nigga smoking. Well, it is, but for me, it wasn't a nigga sitting in the yo with him. You know what I'm saying? It okay. was more of me sending my verse in. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, so you never so, really got to be uh, around Pimp, yeah. Okay. But around E40, or uh, no. Nah. Yo, what is it like working with Pimp? Oh uh, man, that nigga like he all about business, bro. He gonna get that hoe and yeah. just be ready to do it because he got somewhere to be in five ten minutes. So let's do this <laughs> shit like the fuck now. You know what I'm saying? He in and out in business, yeah. but uh. He uh man, he he a, he a nigga that's just gonna tell you flat out trying. Right. If he don't like you, he finna say he don't like you. Yeah. If like if he genuinely fucking with you, he finna say, hey man, do your motherfucking thing, bro. That shit like he right. gonna give you. It's like a feel that he give you, you know. So, right. So, definitely. All right. So like, who do you wish? Oh, nah, not wish. Like, who do you? want to work with that you never got a chance to work with? Um, that's a hard one. I don't know, so many people, man. Well, I, I hate, I hate, uh, I hate, uh, me and Strugs didn't get one in before he passed. All right, please see Strugs, you know what I'm And saying? then I got some real, like, real, uh, and then me and, uh, me and Three got some real, real early records when, like, when he first started fucking around. Because right. he was fucking with, uh, uh, we kind of got mutual people in McKinney. Oh, okay, you know what I'm okay. saying? So, uh, you know, I was uh, around when he was kind of first doing his thing. So, uh, I hate I didn't get a chance. We didn't get a chance to work again. Out my little nigga. Man. So, it was just kind of fucked up when the city was so divided, you know? Man, that's, that's, that's Dallas. What they say, the city of hate. <laughs> the city of hate. You Man, know I mean? but, but, you know, we get a bad rep. And it's yeah. only from Dallas people who be saying that shit. But... Man, ain't nobody in like Cincinnati, LA, yeah, everybody got the exact same, same motherfucking shit, shit going same on. Shit. We were just yeah, about yeah, bro. It ain't no just a Dallas thing that ain't right. being no same way. Bro. Right. I told you guys. Niggas, niggas cut throat and you know, all over the country. Yeah, nigga gonna judge you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like shit, but nigga gonna judge you. 
yeah. a Dallas nigga just gonna finish you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's gonna piss you off more. Like, you damn don't want a nigga to put the gun in your face instead of, no, bro, we, I'm telling you, we good. You know what I'm saying? You like, my nigga. Man, 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 Dallas nigga would disarm man, a nigga. Man, man. <laughs> Disarm a nigga, man. So, and then, so now you feel really like, like you feel some type of way. Man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, God yeah, damn! So, like, that's a, that's so, a, that's a dumb who in the industry you that you you have your eye on that you want to work with that you never got to work with? Man, um, I know it one. Then you do a track with Devin to do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah, you did that. Drink. Yeah, the sip drink. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, I work with Devin again. I got a record in my uh, fuck with him. Man, come on, Devin. He, he been in the city uh, doing a lot of work, so I don't yeah. think he'll be tripping. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know he be out here. You know what I'm saying, man? Shout out Devin two times. Yeah, yeah, yeah Devin. Uh, you know who I mean? I like to get one uh, in with uh, 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 two times. Finesse two times. Oh, two times finesse. Yeah, that nigga, okay. that, man, that nigga gonna okay. be on fire on me yeah. now, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Roddy, like, mm -hmm. like thugging them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm a fan of them niggas, man. Yeah, yeah, they got some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I see, I see when well, you got some options. So, so, what's in store for Gator, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what can we look forward to? You need to get into so, movie, acting, or anything like uh, that? Really not the acting uh, in front of the camera, but uh, kind of more the behind scenes shit. Behind like, the I've been, uh, I've been uh, uh, in talks with some uh, producers, like Miss, uh, Mr. E, a couple okay. of other people. Okay. Uh, I just talked know, to I Mr. E last shit. night. Shot, yeah, yeah, I kind of... Uh, uh, now what I like, bro, is uh, how they done start making the uh, TikTok videos 10 minutes now. They finna start making them 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So they finna be able to put together yeah. some nice shorts right, in right, 10 minutes. Right, so right. those shorts, like, kind of, but with me, like, on some realness, on some G shit, I want to uh, do stories. Like, I know all the stories from the city, like, from every era. So like all that little crazy what's shit. What's the what's the what stories you know? Can we can we get a can we get can we get a, can we, well, we got a Jamaican pasta story? What well, we got? What well, we got? You know what I'm saying? Because I remember some stories. Cause you know I come from uh, Burning Hills. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jackson Square. You know what I'm saying? Tropicana. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let's uh, let, let's double check and make sure none of them incriminate us. Yeah, okay, no, 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 that's that part two right there. I know. Make sure I know. I can say this though. <laughs> I know. I can say this. You it remember? Make sure we don't get no phone You remember back in the day? When you used to go off with you and all that, yeah, and, and, and the Jamaican pots used to have all the lights cut off, you know what I'm saying? You used to be up in trees with them yappers yeah. and a well, you, well, you, or whatever. Well, you had the uh, Jamaicans and you had the Jafakas. The, the Jafakas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, they influenced the shit out of some of them Dallas niggas. They had the accent down and everything. Nigga, get your bitch ass on, nigga. You from South Dallas, nigga. You ain't no motherfucking house. <laughs> oh, what? Hey, hey, you remember when them niggas used to say, you remember when them niggas used to take that shit, nigga, and put that hot sauce in and turn it pink? <laughs> oh, man, that shit was crazy. Man. But anyway, that's another but, uh, story. But, uh, that, that was some shower posse niggas. Shout out yeah. to them niggas, uh, Vivian and all them niggas. Them niggas was real deal, man. Yeah. They went to New York and then spread all over the country. Them niggas was for real, man. Yeah. We fought for independence like it was Texas. Like, so sure. That's how far them niggas almost had to sit on a lot. Had to sit there on a lot. You know what I'm saying? And then I just I like the first know. one really came in this how that work. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? So that that's how it is. That's how Dallas got turned out. That there it is, right there. <laughs> you know what? You know what always bothered me about Dallas? So, What's that? And there's no kind of shade to our people because they 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 had to endure and go through what they had to go through, but. I don't like that in the 60s when uh, Dr. King died, damn near every major city rioted and went up and was in flames, but Dallas didn't, bro. It damn near made me feel like, damn, they had niggas under control, you know what I'm saying? Like, like damn, why did, why, why people didn't, I don't know, man. But then I got to nah. look at it, look, they got family. Nah, and, nah, 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 say, nah, because but like. Chicago went up, D.C. went up, Houston went up, if you L.A. Listen, went up. That's why, I like, that's why I love your music, because if you really listen to your music, you be preaching, you be telling, you know what I'm saying? It's not just, it's, you know, it's, it's not glorifying. It's some politics and nerve. Right, right. you know what I'm saying? You on all levels with it, though, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you can still nod your head back. Well, like, well, well, really, like, because I'm, I'm, like, so in the, embedded in, like, the middle of a spectrum of, uh, I can't really kind of get on the racism shit or racist shit right. because I got white people in my family. Right, I got right, white people right. that I love. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it's just like it's right. so like you really can't. You can touch on certain stuff and right. you know like you know the mistreatment of black people is still fucking serious. But you're right. If you go through history, if you thumb through Dallas history, like what a lot of folks really don't do, you know what I'm saying? We 
the black community ain't never really stood for something. To a I, I, I think it, it, it's still for some. Like for some, I'm talking about like, like what you say, like the Dollar King. We didn't, oh, oh, yeah, it's you know what I'm like saying? Canada. Just like how like like certain stuff happened to us, you know, like no disrespect. I love Nipsey to the heart, but it's like we, we blew up the city. You know, when Nipsey died, you know what I'm saying? We yeah. uh, we were everywhere around Dolph, the city. Like, you know what I'm saying? When Dolph, you know what I'm saying? Woo-woo. Yeah. But when Mo3 went, when, 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 you know what I'm saying? The city went off. Yeah, I was there. Man, I like, was there, but it man, wasn't like. Yeah, roses, man. Like from me, from uh, people in the in the cliff and in the north, I feel like it's, yeah, but you know, like it wasn't like like, like it was like see shrugs, but, but you know he wasn't quite he wasn't, but he wasn't quite uh, that artist that Dolph. I understand, was, but, but it's like it's our city though. He was on his you way. know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like that's why I be having this platform because my that the platform is to really show like that energy that you give to what's the name that comes from out of town. Give that ten four to the person that comes and really put it on for your city. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But but from that aspect, it's a business aspect too. Cause if you're a promoter and you bring Dolph and that nigga doing these kind of numbers, but you try to show love and bring this nigga that ain't that got eight people in the club. And that's just But that that just I mean I mean that's just when when uh, when yellow start uh when yellow shit yeah. three shows yeah. they was rocking yeah. with them, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. The world the city gonna come out if it's uh, authentic enough, one thing about Dallas, bro, if you show that you fucking goofy in any shape, form, or fashion, niggas ain't gonna rock with you. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. if you show that you ain't still for your shit, just, uh, just kind of, and it don't matter if you got some money or not. If you just show that that shit just ain't locking up or you just not being that nigga, the city kind of just be knowing it some kind of way. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. right. But, but it, it's a stiff ass fucking city, it, it bro. You gotta it be is. extra, yeah. extra stiff. Yeah, you gotta be extra so. stiff. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, still, we got, like I say, you know, when you go to them other cities, it's still a platform for them, too. Yeah, you know, yeah. so Migos can go back yeah. to Atlanta and get a big platform. But, but, but every and nigga, media. Nick, nigga gonna get love in this city, but every nigga way bigger somewhere else, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, every nigga yeah. gonna be bigger somewhere but, else, bro. You know what I'm saying? But just, you know, it's just like, Still, you know, when I, I, I just how I feel. Like when you when they come home, it's all right, let them love them outside there, but when you come home you still gotta play. Every for every nigga want the love of his city. Yeah. Like that that's the one that still means right. the most. Like, right. nigga, that's what means the most. That's what that means the most, and that's what the platform's for. It's like nigga, city you go outside the city, you know you come to media matter, you come come lit podcast, you know what I'm saying? You we're gonna pull up some drink, whatever, we're gonna roll up, we're gonna smoke, you know what I'm saying, we're gonna go through there, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta realize you know, um, like I say, you you can't mention Dallas without mentioning Gator Man. So a lot of people try. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't. You and if, and if and you I do, just, you a fool. You know I what I'm saying? It, it's as much as uh, it's that, but it's also it's just like to my own fault. Like every time. Everybody that never went left, I went right, or vice versa. Right. Like I've been kind of so standoffish, to where you can't really be that standoffish. You know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta, and then you damn it gotta damn it fuck with some of the people in the industry. You don't even want to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. like I say, my street shit just got me to where now, nah, man. If you show me one time that you move funny in any kind of fucking way, I don't wanna fuck with you. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. Yeah, just. Cause, Cause now a nigga got more to lose. Back then a nigga just had some peanuts to lose. But now you fuck around and had a wrong nigga or bitch get up under you, shit can cost you everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Then you gotta merc somebody and all that other kind yeah, of shit. Nigga ain't trying to nigga go ain't trying to get took away from the yeah, family. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Nah, nigga ain't trying to go backwards. Fuck yeah, that. Niggas sure. done did that too many times. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? The older you get, the you know, yeah. harder you hit the bounce back them off the most. <laughs> so. Alright, so out of all all your projects, I want you to pick I want you to pick one song from each project Man. that you really really fuck with, you know what I'm saying, on that project. That was like, man, that was the one I'll I... I'll try, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Worldwide was my first project. Right. Uh, and what was your banger on Worldwide? Uh, I'm grateful for uh, the uh, I Don't Walk the Block, but 
the one I used to bang all the time uh, was a D Town Road Car. Holland Hill, nigga. Oh, clear, nigga. And that was just different because it's the first time I had tried a, a, a Twister style. Like, Twister was out around. Nigga said, my nigga, and he nigga. And the nigga, 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 we had fun making the record. Then it was like all of us having to do like the crowd of favorite parts to work. We nigga had fun. Yeah, that, that, so, that, was, that was one of my shits. Live from Judas, it would, um, it's, it had to be Facts of Life. Facts of Life. Yeah, it had to be Facts, facts of Life. Facts of Life. But I also like, because uh, you remember I put uh, uh, Kiss My Ass on it again. But then I had an extended little right. intro uh -huh. part at the end. And I liked the shit out of that little intro part. But I think Facts of Life for that record. Well, who was like, okay, before we go on? Who did Facts of Life? Man, that, honestly, bro, that was just a beat I had heard and grabbed from somewhere, bro. Like, I think it was somebody had did that beat already. So it was kind of on some remake shit. Okay. To where it wasn't the original. I wish that was the original fucking beat. But you had it. But, but I made that on my own. Yeah, you made it your own, shoot. Yeah, they played that on the radio. Yeah, everything. Club. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't even no club you record. They were playing that on the club. Man, that move was a jam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't tell a nigga shit. Nigga thought a nigga was famous, rich. Nigga thought a nigga everything when nigga heard it on the radio. Nigga said, nigga, nigga made it. <laughs> <laughs> I know the one thing uh, that I really like is uh, when niggas say, bro, I had never even heard of Holly Hills before, but you made me go ride through it. You made me go ride through the apartments, the houses. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> that's a cold, hell of a compliment. Right. Man. Cause that's how that shit was uh, when them niggas screaming that fifth war and shit. That's right. Thank us all, right. man. When I went to Houston, yeah. I want to go there. Where that what's shit what's at? Dead yeah, in it, you know. Yeah, what for real, yeah. man. Them niggas for real, yeah. man. So yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Nah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And it, yeah, you shed a lot of light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On the hill, you know what I'm saying? On, uh, on play crazy. That's a hard one right there. Uh, it'll probably it's so many on that though. But uh. Probably uh, Cheetahs probably was one I'm partial to. Cheetahs? Okay. Yeah, okay. Probably, it was just different, bro. It was different. But then uh, the outro, that... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, one, yeah, that yeah. was stupid too. Man. That's stupid. Yeah. I Play Crazy was uh, meant to be just that. Since the name of it was Play Crazy, I'm like... Let me find the weirdest, craziest samples. The, right. like, Cause like that, that gather around me, like the yeah. preacher man. Mm -hmm. All of it was kind of eerie, right. dark, kind of almost like a lot of kind of weird sounds and samples. That thank y'all, thank yeah, y'all. Yeah. Like it was I a mean, whole I bunch of yeah. it was a whole bunch of that going on. So it was different. I tried to make every single project different from the last. You know, it was an expert at doing it. Who I kind of mimic him is pop. Every single pop project. Me Against the World is not going to sound like fucking uh, All uh, Lives on me. me. That's not going to sound and like Michael Bailey. Like not going to sound like all yeah. of you. When you set out to do a project, you really got to kind of do your own work and just like, okay, if I want to do a, if I wanna, like with Sip Drink Music, right. just with the name Sip Drink Music, right. okay, it got to be Right. Southern. Uh, yeah. I'm going through yeah. with Sacha Shades. It gotta be. Nigga had Charlie Boy on that be, bitch. Too. I didn't have Charlie Boy on it. I had uh, Mo. I had, that was Mo on that bitch. was the last song with Big Mo. God rest his soul. Damn, that's that right. That was Mo. Mo. God Mo, damn. Mo and Devin. Yeah, you sure right. Yeah, but uh, man, when, when he went, when we went to Houston and uh, got him to do the song, it's around. Like, he died shortly after that, but we was in the yo, man. He was. uh. He was just sick, you know what I'm saying? You know, he had gout real bad. Damn. So he was just, you know, it was, I, I hate to see him all like that, you know. Man, yeah. R.I.P. Big Mo, man. Yeah, for sure. And we was just know. bumping him on with. We was in their bar, <laughs> man, man, <laughs> shit. We was in that bitch, man. Yeah. That nigga had the club on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. he sure did. And I was at the club one. Let me use the nigga put him on, man. <laughs> the whole city know when they came first and got put on to go take over the world, man. <laughs> but uh, but but it was a it was a feel goodness to that Houston era music. Right, that was right, like, right, right. It was a uh, like for, but before the niggas, 
everybody else was too serious, kind of. Right. Like right. either like the West Coast was super duper gangster, right, which I right. love that shit. That's what really turned me the fuck right. out. And then um, uh, and then the South was gangster too. But then you know, kind of more Atlanta was more lyrical, and they kind of shared that with the East Coast. But that Houston era was a. It was just, it was like, it was a like, like, Yeah, dude, man. That was, fat was, pet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, man, you can tell they were influenced by, like, a, a lot of the uh, 80s um, yeah. uh, R&B bands. Yeah. yeah, yeah, especially Pimp. Because yeah, he had, I, when I listened oh, yeah. to his catalog and I heard a lot of his samples, I would hear a lot of fat back bands and all yeah, that stuff. So I'd be like, yeah. okay, yeah. A lot of eyes. Yeah, yeah. eyes. They, you know, bring, uh, uh, what's that? What's the, um, Hayes, um, uh, Hey, the dark skin ball head. Oh, uh, uh, Isaac Hayes. Isaac Hayes, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, man, that's like so. I said you, you got you, you know. So what's the next day? What who? Uh, I think it was money on her. He was talking about you. You like the parliament? You know what I'm saying? You like parliament? You know what I'm saying? You got, you know, like. That's a compliment. I could take that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know you got that. You you can. You know oh what man, the, the the there's no powers that be in Dallas. It ain't no these certain run niggas run the whole city. It's right. always kind of just been a free for all. Right. But the kind of core niggas who've been doing music for a long time in the city, you know, like I say, everybody fighting to get to the top. So you know, niggas was holding their nuts. Right. I ain't never been a hold on my nuts nigga. Like if I'm just, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just a good hearted nigga at the end of the day. I'm gonna try to put you on if I can put you on. Right. Like, been a lot of niggas try to block some shit and do some little right. slick shit like that. But old me used to instantly get the bombing on their ass. Right. We're talking right. talk about you in the record, off the record, <laughs> everything. You know? Now I'm like, <laughs> and niggas still doing all that shit, but <laughs> niggas still just be like. All right. So was you ever with Holly Hills Records? Uh, I, honestly, yeah, man, I started out, man, before I got with Eternal Life, I was with Dank, uh, okay. with HHP Records, right. shout out to Big Dank, yeah, uh, Low Mac, Dank. Yeah. Uh, him and Low Mac were uh, a hell of an influence um, early on this shit, because, like I say, before them, a nigga, man, I'm telling nigga was like, that gangster shit just... Right. It was just something about the gangster rap era yeah. that just turned me out, it was just too real, bro, then right. this shit was happening for real. Right. So, that era turned me out, but when I got over there with them niggas, they kind of was on some, uh, some. Uh, they was on the gangster shit, but they was on some player shit. Right. So they kind of, Lomac and Dank and all them kind of implemented, implemented the uh, kind of more player. So I kind of still just added that as a dimension. To right. Shit, to, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Add the flavor to that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that was, a, I, I mean, I used to listen to some of that Dank shit, you know what I'm saying, and that Lomac yeah, shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Man, they was right there with them doing their thing, right. man. They could have easily been, uh, he could have easily been Doc or anybody, because right. they right. was right there. Right. Motherfucking Shamrock doing their motherfucking yeah. thing, yeah. man, right down the street. Yeah, man. It's, it's like, so what <laughs> made, okay, so what made you go over to Eternal Life? What was, you know what I'm saying? Um, me and my partner Worm, man, he was okay. out the cliff, you know, Velt nigga, you know, shout out Big Worm, he was okay. doing his thing, man, and. He uh, he was just you know, he was uh, he was wanting to put it together you know it was a, uh, it was a uh, it was a big roster at uh, at a uh, uh, HHP right, you know what I'm right, saying right. I was just a nigga that was wanting it right then you know right, what I'm saying right, still right. my niggas but man just decided to go over there with uh with Worm and you know he had a vision we was trying to do so we was the first ones had them rap vans and. Ah, that kind of shit, man. Turn the light, man. man. It was, yeah, it was yeah, some good yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, and then uh, the realest, you know, he was a partner of Worms, and he was on Death Row. Death Row. So we were back and forth to Cali fucking with Death Row. So man. you... So I ain't know you were fucking with the realest, though. Yeah, yeah, that's my nigga, man. To yeah. this day, that's still my nigga, man. Okay, yeah, okay. Man. You know, and a lot of people in the city don't even really know. Yeah, cause really, cause he left so quick. He made right, a life right. of Kelly, man. man right. Made a good life for himself, and he managing and still fuck with the music. Still got a good relationship with a lot of niggas, man. Right. Understand? Right. And still talk to Shug. Well, I already, you know, I already, man. That's what's up, man. That's a beautiful thing right there. Yeah. So, so like, man, goddamn, Gator got some boy. Gator got some boy. You got some history, Gator. You know what I'm saying? You really, you know, you got, yeah. some, you got, you got some history. You know, I, you know what, my, 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 earliest, history? my earliest history, I remember, is um, my sister uh, used to date uh, Big Al uh, from Nemesis. So, like, I was around when they were first kind of really putting that shit together as a little nigga. Is you related to Ron C? No, nah, I'm not related to Oh, okay, him. okay, okay. Oh, okay. Him, oh, okay. Right, right, Shout right. out to him. Uh, no, yeah, I'm yeah. just... 
They the OGs, they the legends in the mm -hmm. city to me, you know what I'm saying? Right. The world's a different kind of music, but you know, they still dock and all them, they the they the pinnacle of it. Right. But uh, just I like, you know, I, kinda, I, like, I like how you did yeah. I just like kinda that. being uh you know, just I was you know, I was already a fan, you know, you know, uh hip hop was so new, but uh the niggas just to just to see niggas doing it, you know what I'm right. saying, in person. Right. Was like, damn, I, like I knew I wanted to do it. Right, right. Yeah. Nah, that's what it is, right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like I was saying, yeah, your history, yeah, it's really thick. So, what made you? Okay, so now you form ball players. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ball that, player, like when, when I was at Eternal Life, uh, me and uh, Ice Franger and Mr. Kool Aid uh, and Worm, we all kind of, you know, we were playing around, but the ball player stuck. So, uh, we just wanted, like, you know, we kind of, we, I, I feel like. It opened up a door to kind of bring in and mention kind of sportsy kind of shit. Like right, every now and then, a nigga right, say, right. you know, a nigga head coach or kind of, kind of, it kind of uh, brought in that. But, uh, you know, we ballers and players, man. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like, you know, I like the stamp how you brought, I like, especially the logo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With the B and the back, you know what I'm saying? Mike back, you know what I'm saying? In the middle. You know what I'm saying? I like the whole creative idea because it, it stood out because everybody else had, you know, the Swish House and yeah, uh, yeah. all that right there. And then that really, you know, it stood out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like, y'all made a stamp too as far as the group. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody came in with G's around my neck. Yeah. You know, you, you know I, I just think um, it was the wrong time for that record. And not only that record, it was the wrong time for Sip Drink Music. Uh, it was right around the time, like I dropped that right around the time the city had just changed. It was right at that boogie moment right. movement. So right. it wasn't Sip Drink Rules, it was starting to lose its relevancy. Right. And then uh, new music was kind of being issued in. So that led to a time of a nigga finding itself type shit like right. that. Right, right. So was it hard? Was it hard through that process when it changed through the era right there? Because I remember the era very well. Was it. <laughs> Was it was it stores and was it DJs forcing us out uh, or was it no 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 it wasn't no forcing was it, us out or was it just it was, it was just the, 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 yeah it was just bottom line that's what the people wanted to right, hear that's like bottom said, line, right. once again nigga grateful for that um, right. it's just what the people wanted to hear but uh, them niggas brought so much money to the city like right. like I'm telling you the clubs every Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday right. was hidden like you had like they had everybody like I said coming from the country. And like them little hoes was coming to the city, so that uh, that was good for economy wise in the hood, you know. So the niggas generated some money. I just say, I just we all have to be faulted for them not being on game and wreaking better benefits. Right. And like you know, Atlanta niggas getting right. the GS boys, and like you know, right. somebody right. else from somewhere else kind of getting them. The OG niggas, we gotta fault ourselves for letting that happen. Right. Like a J Prince or. A sugar or somebody right. would have never let that happen. Like we never I'm debo. Glad you spoke on we, it. We, Thank we, you. We, we never debo nothing back Thank in the city. Even myself, bro. Right. Like I say, we in the streets dirty anyway. So niggas just didn't risk it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And did you know what I'm saying? That shit just. But but you realize it now though. You know like yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what you think? Like okay, so knowing what you know now, what would you do different? Back then. Yeah. Man, I would have been signing them niggas or I would like, you know, proper management type shit. But uh, I would, uh, as far as my career wise, man, I'm grateful for it. I wouldn't do nothing different. You like once again, maybe, maybe maybe promote more and kind of get out more and not, you know, kind of put the street shit to the bottom. Because like I say, even when niggas on the top of his game on some uh, street shit, a nigga still should have been. Right. You know, trying to change it when a nigga was treating that street shit like it was forever. You know what I'm saying? But what you learned along your journey that helped you get to to this point day to day? Um, man, um, to just like when it get when it gets super hard and you just want to give the fuck up, man, just don't, bro. Like, and then like I say, family is what kind of keep me motivated. Nigga, gotta right. stay out here and you know right. feeding, and, you know, right. paying bills, keeping the lights on, but um. Nigga just gotta keep moving, bro. Like, and it ain't no, it ain't, it ain't no age limit on nothing. It ain't never too late to hit the reset button. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? It's just like, 
you it's always gonna be a crowd, it's always gonna be somebody somewhere rocking with you. Don't try to set out on a demographic of particular people to fuck with you. Right. If St. Louis fuck with you, right. bleed the fuck out of St. Louis. If right. Oregon fuck with you and right. your people, go to Oregon. Like right. it's you gotta just, you know, rock with who uh rock with you. You know, don't right. try to try too hard to fit in those certain words. Right. If your music jam and niggas respect you. Alright, you know, alright. So do you think you and in your music right now, you still are, are you, like say, are you comfortable where you at, or are you still trying to reach certain pinnacles in the, in the game? You can't never get comfortable. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun right now. And this Deep Boy Diary Part Two project is crazy. It's just, okay. it's different. And like I say, uh, there's no features on it, so that's the first time I've never did that. Right. So it really challenged me to. You know, kind of do some different things and make sure the album don't get boring. And then the production is crazy; it's good production. So this is it's a different, it's a it's kind of a turning point project. But um, yeah, man. So, so just, if this project is the one we got the live band on, the win. No, nah, no, nah, man. That was on uh, the ten ways to win in Vegas. That project was just so. Um, it just I I just got such big expectations to where it's gonna take really getting in some big studios with some talented uh, musicians right, to right. get that project done. Right, so right. It's just going to take a lot. So uh, I've, it's always kind of in the back of my mind. It's kind of like my magnum opus project that I've always right, kind of right, wanted right. to do. But, uh, you know, it's just, I mean, it, it's funny, bro. I'll set out on a project and say, you know what, this whole thing will be about such and such, such and such. But by the end of it, that shit just turned gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Like, bro, like, damn, bro, how, this, how you set out to make a love song and still end up talking about fucking a bitch and shooting a nigga that was over by the Bitch like a gangster. Yeah, man, 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 bro, like, that, that's how, man, that, that gangster shit is just embedded in a nigga, bro, like. No, say, you got it, bad, though, bro. man. You got to run it, say, man, I tell him, that's why I say, I don't give a fuck what you say, Gator. You know what I'm saying? Gator, my boy, and I'm going to tell him. We gon' my platform or whatever I do, media matic, whatever, I'm gonna push y'all to the pinnacle. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't care if you got your albums, your promo, whatever, send it my way. You know what I'm saying? Because like you deserve a number one spot. And yeah, if not, you no 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 <laughs> no 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 you deserve a number one spot. You know what I'm saying, and and that's not nah, that's obvious. But uh, that's gonna uh, that's gonna take and that's gonna, that's gonna take us. Take, that's gonna take every yeah. Nah, it's gonna take by, us by by eighty percent me. But then yeah, it's gonna take a group collective effort. Right. Like, like I say, man, the niggas who don't know one formula work for no, you know, so like just you like right. different people have different formulas on how they won and right. the people that they put together, and it right. does take. You gotta like when I was in Atlanta, my Atlanta nigga would tell me like, "Look, bro, you gonna have to have a, a, a road DJ and a DJ at the house. You gonna have to have a publicist. You are gonna have to have a manager. You gonna like, and then like every like when you go to the club, you gonna have to have at least 10, 11, 12 niggas. They need to be in the company shirt. You need to be looking like the artist. Like you got to move certain kind of ways. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. It makes sense. You right. Know? Right, well, but when you don't really rock with, right, when you don't rock, when you really rock <laughs> with solo dolo, you know what I'm like, saying. But like, see, this tip, but today's age is different. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. A lot of that, a lot of that, what we had to go through is, is really different. Now. It really is different because it's so easy to. Um, well, I don't just say so easy, but with the social media, with the platform, bro, you can reach so many people. Like, mm -hmm. if we wanted to reach somebody in Denver, we had to load that shit up in the trunk and drive to Denver back then. <laughs> Now it's, you savvy enough, you're gonna reach everybody in there. I'm talking about albums and all. We'll probably get about five or ten of them free on the long yeah, way, and they'll sold by 20 of them along the way. You know, like, it's, it's like. But, uh, but being kind of more OG, nigga missed the old school art of uh, hand to hand. And right. Meeting a nigga, hey, bro, this is what I do. Meeting right. a nigga at the corner store in his hood, and right. hey, bro, this is what I got going on here. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga missed it. It ain't as uh, personal as it used to be. Yeah. Well, fuck that shit. If you still reach a million people right. and they all <laughs> buy that T-shirt for five dollars, yeah, it's going down. Yeah, it's going I down. like that, man. Like I say, the young niggas they control right. every damn near almost every aspect of their careers nowadays. When in back in then it was all the label, right? To where I like that, you know. What I'm saying make the label come with them on some man shit. Uh, you gotta come with some better bargaining. Yep. Back then. 
And, and that goes for radio too. Yep. That's when y'all niggas on like a motherfucker. Ain't mm -hmm. never touched a motherfucking radio. And on like a motherfucker. Yeah, plaques and all. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know, it forces on the right. damn, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's all about putting that team together. And then, like, when you put that mind together and everybody say, hey, man, check this out. And then shit, once you see it and you form it, you be like, oh, okay, I can, yeah, okay, sure. you can obtain it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you got anything you want to tell anybody out there, man? You want, you got anything, you know what I'm saying? You want to get off your chest, you know what I'm saying? Do you want, you know, the, you know, the floor is yours right now, you know what I'm saying? No, not really, man. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, I appreciate all my support. You know, you told me a lot of people that came on the show and, you know, mentioned me. And a nigga grateful for every piece of it, yeah. you know. In the street, I really ain't know. Right. Or just kind of just, you know, gonna really show no emotions about it. But I do be grateful for right. niggas who rock with me. You know what I'm Yeah, Froze only say, yeah. Froze only cover his say, man, we, we name franchise players after Bob. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my boy, man. Shout out to uh, Froze only yeah. and, uh, and, and Rest Easy. Yeah, yeah, Mo Ink. Ink. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Mo Ink. You know what I'm saying? See, that it like... And people out here, you gotta know, man. People, man, yeah, say. Shout out to T Squeeze, man. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, say, man, say. R.I.P., man, say. Yeah. God, at least. We don't lost a lot of people. We, we have. Years, man. We really have, man. And, like, it, it's gonna take, like, us connecting with the OGs, really knowing our history, putting it together, you know what I'm saying? Moving as a. And I know it ain't gonna take everybody. I know everybody ain't gonna be able to do it. Yeah. But, you know, the ones that's all, you know what I'm saying? When we, like I say, each one teach one, you know what I'm saying? We can all can build a better platform yeah, for yeah, each for other. Sure. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's for. Um, before I get out of here, I always ask this question. You know what I'm saying? Bunky wanted me to ask another question, but I forgot what you had uh, told me to ask. Bunky. <laughs> but I ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I forgot. Me when it goes live. <laughs> <laughs> My Bunky gonna be like, "Damn, man, I'm gonna put it in the comments, man." In the comments. Uh, man, there's so much I, I gotta do a part two on you, Gator, because there's so much I want to go through, man. Because you, you know what I'm saying? You really, you know, say what? What? What's Gator to me? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, like I'm, I'm supposed to be working. I'm like. He's coming like, get to come. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I gotta meet you. You're a legend. So, you know. <laughs> man, so I'm like, nah. Man, you got, a legend, no man. No matter what platform we go on. And, 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 and people always say a legend, it gotta be dead and that. Man, fuck no. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for Like, real. My nigga, you know, it's like, it's, it's it's all about, it's always a lesson you can learn, man. And people don't know music touch a person hard. You yeah. know, everybody music man. And, 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 I, and I'm, and I'm, I'm uh, like I say, as I get older, like, over my career, a nigga didn't really take the music as serious as I should have. So, I never really made no just hell of a money. I make some money here and there, right. but I never just really made no kind of big money with it. But we're gonna teach Gator how to make some money off this shit. <laughs> Fuck this shit. You got oh, me no, oh, fucked no. up. Oh, no, I know, I, know, I know how to make money off this shit. No, I'm talking about, I'm about the new age way. Uh, I, know, I know that too. My people yeah. are really getting it. Okay, the okay, big, big. Like, uh, I know man. how to do that. But, uh, it's just a nigga was, uh, you know, just got, like, you know, such a street nigga, but. Shit, man. I, what, one good thing is, like I say, I stayed consistent on the projects over the years and all that. And that body of work is now starting to be recognized and starting to circulate and people starting to, you know, uh, like newer listeners are starting to appreciate older music. And uh, a nigga's so grateful for that. You know what I'm saying? Facts, yeah, facts. So, so, what's your top three favorite cars of all time? Uh, 69 Charger. Oh, shit. Um, two though? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they only made those in two though. Yeah, they only made those. Yeah, okay. 69 Charger. Uh, a Buick Grand National. And a uh, Testarossa Ferrari. Like, that's the roaster. Okay, yeah, I know the test the old school. The, 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 uh, the Miami Vice. Nah, that ain't the Miami Vice bitch. The, uh, who had one of them bitches? Dre had one of them bitches like that white one in uh, Straight Outta Compton. Uh, it's kind of made. Kinda, oh, there's a slant. Yeah, it's kind of made. Bitches, yeah, yeah, okay. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. All right, all but right. You know, at Dallas, you know the, like, Dallas niggas over the years, they've always like anything box. 
If you notice that, box shavy. a box Chevy, short bids. <laughs> Way back then, it was like Lex. Yeah. It was like the Mondays, like anything that's just scoring, scoring niggas. I don't know, man. Dallas niggas. It was something like, about putting them dates the on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't tell it because I know that's what you. I got things on my colors and my most. Well, well, okay, all right. Define a Dallas nigga. <laughs> tell me, tell me three things. No, tell me four things a Dallas nigga need to be a Dallas nigga. How you know a nigga? How you know a nigga from Dallas? <laughs> and I'm talking about the old day player because these niggas don't do well, like well, back no, in the no, day. It's, 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 they, they still the same, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 you know how they still oh, oh, the cars oh, were cleaner oh, back then. The cars were cleaner back then. That's the cars. Niggas out there was like the nigga though. Right. The first thing. He gonna be uh he gonna be fresh to fucking death, man. He ain't gonna be dusty. Okay. He ain't gonna be looking like nigga. If it gets cold on me, Dallas nigga is gonna be clean. He's gonna be. Approachable, he's gonna be respectable. He gonna man by the end of the day, you talking to him, you gonna feel so motherfucking welcomed and so at ease, just quick enough for him to get over on you. <laughs> 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 Real, what can I, say, bro? I got you, bro. I'm gonna run right now. I'm telling you, my people right here. Right here. You can't come in, bro. My people right. Stay right here, man. Don't get out the car. Nigga, nigga, hit that damn fence off. I'm telling you, my say, my niggas are here. Don't play, my nigga. My nigga, say. So, like, you man, so, so, uh, a Dallas nigga is 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 quick, man. A Dallas, yeah. like, a Dallas nigga sharp, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, man, they multi layered. They got a lot of different aspects yeah. of them going on, and. You got those spectrums, but then, um, uh, uh, you know, we get a bad rap on being this way or that way, but the core niggas I know that I fuck with and that I'm fans with and all niggas that take care of their fucking family, right. that's going to work. You know what I'm saying? They got their faults. We all right, do, right, but right. a Dallas nigga, on, man, they going to stay still for all the way around the board, but, you know, things don't start picking up, you know, we'll go pick up things. <laughs> What's a, okay? What's a Dallas? What's, what's a Dallas nigga dress code and car key? Um, a Dallas nigga dress code. That's hard to say, bro. Let's not say that. Hell no, come, come, come on, man. You got to break like West <laughs> Dallas niggas not gonna dress like South Dallas niggas, and East Dallas niggas not gonna dress like Oakland niggas. But I can't get into that because I'm a fan. Everybody that's not from Hollywood, <laughs> well, we be putting that bitch ass shit on. So I don't want to start. Man, got the big I don't want to start. I don't want to start talking about our niggas having like you know what certain part of town niggas dress. <laughs> a little loud or a little you know, try to add a pink green nigga, line nigga, 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 I, I'm, I'm old good I'm old I'm old good nigga, nigga. Talk about I'm old good nigga so I know it's Levi's <laughs> nigga they ain't no 501 <laughs> nigga and, and Oak, Cliff, Oak Cliff nigga <laughs> Oak Cliff nigga and the Holly Oak Cliff nigga gonna put they gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna Hey, but that's a long time ago. Man. Nigga, 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 got me fucked up, nigga. I'm old, bitch. Nigga, I still got a 501 now, nigga. Call me old who you want to, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, in, nigga. You know, you know what a Dallas nigga is? A Dallas nigga is in a multicolored striped polo t shirt. Slightly turned this way with his baby mama. And he got on, and she got on the same t shirt. He got his necklace so he got an Air Max on. <laughs> and they was all so about to get that on. Like, That's what that was. I had cousins of the day, they say. They came out the window, they say. They went from her. Uh -huh. Now the girl, she would have she said, Oh, they got y'all really buy horses out here. And yeah, I'm yeah. looking at her like, <laughs> you know, yeah. And the dude was talking about. Man, they got some J's all on the horse. I said, welcome to Texas. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. You pull up in the hood. What you mean? They can take it. They can riding their horses up to the corner. They can start washing that old with the spray washing. They can be all on Holly Hill Drive and shit on that horse. Oh, all on the media and shit, niggas traffic and everything, nigga. They but shit. that same nigga on that horse. Uh-huh. <laughs> that same nigga. 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 That and he gonna disarm you, I'm telling you. He ain't lying. He ain't lying, nigga. He ain't lying, nigga. He ain't lying, nigga. Nigga fuck around, got a rap video. That nigga probably a flip, flip. That nigga a hustler. That nigga oh, man. a hustler. And you trusted him with that 5500 to go in that house. And he ain't never come back there. Yeah, that, nigga went, that nigga went straight over the fence, nigga. Yeah. Went straight, that nigga whole empty yeah. house, nigga. Yeah. So. 
So that's a Dallas niggas, man. It's like you got to like love you or love us or hate us. Like we just who we are. Like God, we man. broken and we accept it. You know what I'm saying? We have a real man. Yeah, yeah. We be, we just like we mean good, man. We trying to get right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we trying to make it. <laughs> Yeah, like, all right, so what's your top three favorite weed strains? Okay, this I'm not, is not as big, but I'm just, I'm really damn to be faithful to the OG. I won't even try yeah. nothing really new. If it's just some purple or some just some jizzle, bro. Like, yeah, I don't be wanting to try, but now I'm a fruit box. Nah, I'm I don't, no. like, I don't be <laughs> want to do all that. No. The runts be good, you know. Every now and then I fuck with the runts, but like it's just you can't go wrong with a bad ass OG. Runts be drying them up. Man, yeah, you gotta have some chills in there. Man, I was in uh, Cali not too long ago and went to the dispensary. They had some uh, some Kremlin OG. That shit, some, mm. some Kremlin pre rolls. Yeah, that sounds like, that sound, you know, like oh, Kremlin, like Kremlin, Kremlin. Kremlin. niggas to my Kremlins. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's what they call like uh, uh, Russia's president, the Kremlin right. type shit. But mm. that shit was. That shit was you ain't never had no fucked up weed story? Not one that I would probably want to share. Damn, man. You're, it you're, probably involved uh, <laughs> of being a Dallas nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it probably involved that. So probably not one I really want to share too much. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, man. God damn. That fucked up, man. Okay, yeah. I guess we didn't get that uh, weed yeah, story. Yeah, right, so, I don't really have right. that in mind. So last question. But that was at the end. <laughs> okay. So, all right. So. Last question of the night. All right, I always ask this question before I end the podcast. If you was in my shoes, what question would you ask my, yourself that I didn't ask you? Um, uh, that's a hard one. I mean, you missed the word, Smith. I know. You know what I'm saying? I really can't. You really, you know, you can't. I, and I'm going to take, I'm gonna take you on on that 100 word. I'm going to take you on on that 100 word challenge. <laughs> you can't have you ever left the interview and be like, man, why they ain't asked me about, you know, it just. Um, ever feel like watching interviews? Like, why they don't ask this? No, not, not really, not really, because uh, I've been in interviews to where uh, they ask some questions that's like, bro, why are you asking that <laughs> But you didn't do that, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't like, you know, I didn't, I didn't uh, have to shell up. And, you know, <laughs> Here this nigga go with them. You know they just start giving you one word, you know? <laughs> Wednesday, like, a nigga just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I don't know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a good experience. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really appreciate it, appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't think of nothing, though. I really can't. Well, can't I got a question. Uh, I'm, I'm, sure. I'm, in, I'm sorry, I'm in bed. Oh, no, no, you straight. <laughs> <laughs> if you were the lady this early, what would you want to be remembered for? Um, I don't want to be remembered. I don't want people to try to force my legacy to be he was this much of a great person. He was just trying to cut who he was. He was, uh, you know, like I tried, shit. Like, probably wasn't always the best right. father, companion, all that shit throughout life. You know, street nigga gonna be a street nigga, but right. shit, nigga did his best and rode that bitch out and shit, kept it pushing. Stay still, stay to self. Yeah. Well, see, you heard that here first, so you know what I'm saying? I just know when I die, don't nobody better not put no motherfucking I don't walk the block till my feet hurt slab on my motherfucking head stop. <laughs> I'm publicly saying that right now. No, no family, nobody put no motherfucking on one. We putting this shit on the table. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Oh, so, and, and so uh, on your tombstone, what you want on there? Well, okay, right now, what you want on your tombstone right now? Oh, that's some shit I got to think about. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. Okay, all right. Cause I, I, I own my plot now that I read. Oh, and now you done just put that on there. Nigga, 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 say put a plate on that. I'm going to say no. I want to read the same thing said on there. Don't look it up to my family. Don't eat. No friends to put on the fuck that yeah, 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 yeah. Put a plate, put a plate on there with a fork and shit. My nigga, hey, be conservative. I'm gonna be next to my mud dealer and my people. Yeah. So like, nah, I don't wanna put none of that ghetto stuff. Nah, on. man, but it's like, man, you know what? And I like how you said you don't want people to force you know your legacy and everything like that. But because you, I was a little bit of it all, and I'm proud to right. be a little bit of it all. And man, that's what makes you everything. great. Yeah, like, and that's what yeah. makes you great. For being yourself, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And see, and that's what's hard for a lot of motherfuckers to do because they come out they, here. They, they just want it so bad. Right, you know? they right, just, right. Niggas just like moving. Like I got people around me that kind of do the, you know, kind of the management and all that. But I, like we don't just seen them all. Like they 
over here fuck with these niggas, over here fuck with these niggas, over here fuck with these like they just kinda all right. over the place. Right. When nah bro, you just gotta take a deep breath, sit back, and rock with who rock with you, man. But yeah, trying to force you. it. You finna I'm trying to force it, you finna run into a whole lot of niggas that don't mean you no good, you know what I'm saying? Especially in this industry. Yeah, that's that's facts. So we we're looking forward to uh uh, D Boy Diary 2. D you know? D Boy Diary Part 2. Yeah, you know that's, what what, that's the one I'm probably feeling. Yeah. Nah, that's the one I'm feeling dropping. You know, right. probably about that. You know what I'm saying? Know, we're just mixing and mastering right now, but that always is. Make sure you send me all the promo so I make sure I get that out for you. know what I'm saying? I was sure. first one to have that key to the city promo. <laughs> I know what you're going to be blasting in the damn time. You already know what you know. I'm going to have them goddamn motherfuckers in there bumping, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker jiggies around my neck, blew my speaker out. Goddamn me. I say, hey, nigga, say, Hey, your nigga, or stay. Now I need a, I need another speaker. For that. <laughs> yeah, for real. But I love y'all out there, man. I say, man, and right now, man, we 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 sitting with a Dallas icon. We sitting with a Dallas legend. You know what I'm saying? If you don't go do your history, you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is just thumb through there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, you ain't gonna miss a beat. You gonna love everything for, for real. Man, I wanna appreciate say, you, having oh, me yeah. my boy, for man. Sure, for real, for sure, man. I say, man. All I say, man, stay lit to life, man. Get up off the motherfucking monkey shit. You know what I'm saying? Not for real. Get up yeah, off that motherfucking real. bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And you'll see a better, bright future for yourself one day. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get up out of here with my boy Kevin, man. You motherfucking bitch! <laughs> To street shit, hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit, but I always knew that I would be.